Hey guys and welcome back to Kerbal Collaborative Warfare, the version of Kerbal Space Program where we have installed guns, we have installed bases, we have split up those bases amongst five YouTubers and we are slogging it out like all good YouTubers should. For the past four episodes we have been preparing and fighting a war with the Territorial Arctic Protection Entente run by Tape Gaming, but unfortunately and recently the political landscape has changed enough that we are both going to have to turn our quite considerable attentions elsewhere. With this change in the political climate in mind we find ourselves on a mission, a mission of peace, of prosperity, of teamwork and working togetherness. Last time we had managed to sneak up upon one of Tape's planes and took Bob Kerman as a prisoner, at which point dear leader Twitch Yongi in his magnificent foresight of the future turned round to Tape Gaming and made him an offer. An offer that obviously he could not refuse. Not only did we promise to return this prisoner out of the kindness of our heart and for the political goodwill, but we also offered him four turns without us pounding his bases and obviously destroying him and sending him to rack and ruin. During Tape's episode, he made a laughable attempt to have bravadoing his way through and trying to make it sound like I was the one getting the best deal of out of this scenario, but you could hear the relief in his voice. You could hear the citizenry behind him crying for mercy from dear, dear leader. And who are we to reject such a cry? Bob Kerman has now spent many days living amongst our people as one of the Cthulians himself. We have taken him to see Dear Leader, we have taken him to banquets, shown him the wonders of our technological know-how, the beauty of our children, the intelligence of our scientists. We have shown him the marvels that can be created when an entire populace is working to one will, the will of Dear, Dear Leader. Needless to say, Bob has been overwhelmed by everything he has seen and should hopefully be taking our message of peace and prosperity to the people of the Territorial Arctic Protection Entente. Maybe some of their people will see the light and come over to our side, as we are obviously the force for justice, right ways and things that are good. As Tamty now lines up to allow Bob Kerman to make an airdrop down, I hand you over to a pre-recorded message from Glorious Leader who is out currently fighting the forces of evil to save baby kittens from the clutches of badness. Citizens of the Kerbal's Democratic Republic of Northern Clathru, I know you will be distraught not to see me in person. But please, you have to accept that I have some important things to do. This message was recorded on the eve of the return of our good friend Bob Kerman, a Kerbal who has become very dear to me in these past few days. I have great hopes that this will lead to a spirit of peace and cooperation between our two great empires as we come to realise the great evils that actually exist on this planet. On the east coast of the great continent of Clathu, the peaceful Velox Empire have been subject to opportunistic land grabs from the Agonarch Industries and the Penguin Empire. As a just, moral and democratic society, we have to go forth and protect our friends. Kerbals with the same ethnic makeup as us shall surely not be left to these murderous intents of the outsiders. That is why, after prudent refortifications of our own bases of course, we will be going forth to conquer the entire of the continent of Clathu. So citizens, return to your work and know that we are going to war, not as conquerors, but as liberators. Powerful, powerful stuff once again. Dear leader Twitch Yongi reaching out and taking the words from the very hearts of the people he is here to govern. It is amazing how he can do such things. But you heard the Kerbal, we are going to war. We need to protect our people that are on this great continent. There are outsiders from other places, the other side of the planet coming here and trying to threaten our lands and this this shall not stand oh no 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 first let's quickly talk about the power drop that just happened obviously using the power of vanguard mod we uh hit our abort button and threw bill out the su sorry bob out the side of our plane uh thankfully he was given a parachute so when we were down at a suitable altitude we popped the parachute and just waited for him to float down to the floor it was, it was as simple as that uh we used the ai program on board 
uh, with the BD Armoury just to make sure this plane kept on circling in the right place so that things wouldn't despawn and everything was all right. Okay, so what's going on here is I was trying to make my way down to Kerman Lake, which is on the east-hand side uh, of my particular lands, starting to get towards the east side of the continent of Clothu. But you could see that I was starting to have a few issues here, and this is because I was starting to run out of fuel. This was a bit of a surprise to me because when I'd done like simulated runs of this, I was able to go over to Jeb Top Isle, that was the place where we dropped off Bob, do a few rounds about and still make it back to Kerman Island fine. So I'm not sure where the fuel discrepancy came in here, but obviously it happened and we're going to have to put down in the middle of my lands here. We've not killed Tamti, this is, this is a good thing, but she is kind of in the middle of nowhere and I'm, I'm not sure what to do with her. Well, obviously I'm going to come and pick her up at some point in another vehicle. What I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with is this plane. I think we're just going to have to write it off as a loss because there's no way to refuel it. With that taken care of, let's take a look towards our base defences. Of course, Kola Crater is one that we really need to defend. This is where the Birch Swan originally left from. And of course, this is the one that we actually have no defences at whatsoever at this point in time. So... I have done some testing out and about in the real world and I will uh, put together a bonus video to show you everything that I've done there. But I, with that, I have determined that this combination of guns should be enough to hold back any missiles that are coming our way. So we have the goalkeeper up top and the two Vulcans. The goalkeeper has some good long range missile defense on it, whereas the Vulcans are very good at taking out any missiles that get within maybe a kilometer or so. And of course we've included six sidewinders for air defense. I've put six in because I think this is the maximum number we're actually going to be able to get off if this picks up uh, the radar signal at five kilometers out. So I think this is the minimum possible for actually being a good defense. Now I've learned a lot of things from, from the turtle and various um, testings and stuff like that. And I think this is the one that's going to do it. All we can do is wait and see though. Second vehicle deployed is this, the Swift. Now this traditionally, or the air vehicle, is traditionally the one that I would go forth and conquer a base with. I'm not doing that this round because there are big bad guys out there and I want to make sure that my place is safe and sound. So I am putting down my first ever AI pilot air defense thing. Uh, this, this should be good, this should work. I've been, I've been doing some tests, as I say, I've been doing a lot of tests and I think this should hopefully defend my base well. I, I even had a chat with uh, Mr. BD himself uh, and, on the wonders of Reddit, and he tells me that this should be the way to protect my base. So let, let's see how this does. And if it doesn't do amazingly well, you can see around me that I actually have a lot of bases within sort of 100 kilometers of here. So th this is my heartland. This is where I'm going to be ta launching my attacks across that body of water there. Those are also my three bases, by the way. Off over that way is where people are invaded. And that's where we're going to go try keep safe. Or at least take the lands for ourselves. But anyway, I'm afraid that's all I did this turn. I will see you next turn where we're actually going to go do something offensive and try and take over the rest of Clefou. I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!